Hello and welcome to another video about PS Assets. So in two previous videos we imported some assets into the system taken directly from a spreadsheet and then in the following video we actually updated the purchase values uh, to correct them. We'd made a mistake when we'd imported the data. Now you don't have to uh, import data to make changes en masse, you can actually do it from the tools built into the system already. So in the menu on the left hand side what we've got is a manage section and then there's an option called edit. So there's two things really I want to show you in here. One is editing multiple assets by type, editing multiple assets by location or editing multiple assets by department. There's also an editing multiple assets by a combination of them and also there's an update dynamically from an import and it's this option that I want to uh, to check out with you uh, a little bit later on in the video. So these four options here, they work in very similar ways. So if, for example, you wanted to edit lots and lots of uh, asset types in one go, you first of all highlight in here the type of asset that it is you want to change. So in my case, it's printers, scanners, MFDs, and faxes. And by clicking go, what we'll then be given is an option to choose the question or field that we actually want to change. So it could be that we are going to change the expected replacement date for all of them. And we could also choose a different question, for example, the notes, and click on go. So now we're given every single printer or scanner or MFD or fax that's in the system. And we can then change the notes entirely. So we could put in um, this printer is owned by the Academy. It is not leased. And this gives us a good idea of what's going on. So I want that to be written across every single printer. So all we do is click copy. It copies it across all of them. And then we could click on save. And we could also change the expected replacement date for all of these assets and say, I expect that in the next year, we would have to replace every single printer because they're all getting a bit tired. So we're going to say on the 19th of March 2020, all of these printers, I expect to have to replace them all. And then when we click save, the system has then changed those. And if we go into manage, into asset types, if we look now at the IT equipment folder, and we look at the printers, we go into a, one of them at random. We'll see on here, it's got a new note that we've just changed. And the expected replacement date there has changed to the 19th of March next year. So that's one thing you can do. You can also be a bit more specific, and that's by using the uh, little bit a bit further down, this one. So I want to edit multiple assets, but I only want to edit the assets that are in a particular location or belong to a particular department. So the types that I want to edit on here is every single printer or scanner that belongs to the ICIT support help desk that is located in the IT office and click on go. Now that presents every single one that's in the uh, IT office that is a printer that belongs to the IT help desk. And you'll see all the questions in here. So in a previous video, I made changes to the uh, uh, purchase value of these. And I've, I've made a mistake again. They should have gone down as £499.99. And that's the same for all of them. So I can copy that across. But there's one printer it was actually a little bit more expensive. It was that one. And this one is actually an OptiPrint 9600. And that's why it's a little bit more expensive. And we can update various different fields in there as well. There we are. So I'm happy with those changes. And then all we do is tap save at the bottom. 
And now if we go into Manage, into Locations, into the main building and the IT office, we'll see our HP OptiPrint 7600s. And you can see there the purchase value has been changed uh, for the ones that we wanted to change. So the next thing I want to show you was because previously when we imported all of these uh, printers, they started with a new delivery current status. So they were all delivered, I've set them all up, I've deployed them across the school, they're all working and everything's fine. So now I want to change all of the statuses. Now I could just change this one and say it's in high use and save that change. And then I would have to then go back to locations, back to the same one, choose the next one, and then change that status as well. This could get very, very tedious. So a very, very quick way of doing this would be to run a report which would show us everything that's had a new delivery status and update all of them very quickly. So if you go into reports, report builder, and we're going to add a new report that includes all IT equipment items that have the status of new delivery. And then we click on next. I don't want to add any filters. And all I want is the ID, name, status, type, department, and location. Um, for my reference, I might want the make and model as well, so I know what I'm looking at. And this is all IT kit that is a new delivery. And so I then click on next, and that report is now created. So if I go in here to look, find that report, it's down at the bottom, I can request that report. And this is every IT piece of kit that has a status of new delivery. So I export that to CSV, open it up, and there it is. So the field that I'm changing is actually the status here, and these are all now in in use high and I'm going to copy that down and delete off any columns that I don't actually want to change. So all you're going to leave on here is always the ID number and the status or the field of information that you want to change. You're going to copy that and then on the system go to manage edit assets and then there's an option at the bottom to uh, edit the current status of multiple assets using any answer to a particular question. So what this will let us do is to paste the data from our spreadsheet, always remembering to delete the final line. Is the first row column title? Yes, it is. The question that we're going to use to change it is actually the ID number because that's the unique field. And we're going to change the status to high use and click on go. So it says we've found six assets, six assets that you want to change, click go, and that's actually done. That's then edited. If I go into one of these printers, we'll see that the status is now in use high. As ever, thank you very much for watching our video. If you do need any help, the number here is 0114 225 0301. To watch more of our videos, click on the links on your screen now.